folks, David here with Destination Human. Another nice day, another spring day. Little update on progress around here. Of course, you see another coop being ready to go out. And you have seen this many times in its process of being built, and it's ready to go out now. The pampered chicken pen. Kevin has done a fantastic job on this thing. Looky there, that opens up, folds open. Put your chickens in. Pull open on the chimney. Oops. That pops open. Get to your nesting box. Another handled opening there with a turn. All pretty much built, except for I think the base there was all from recovered materials. And talking about recovered materials, we come over here to Kevin Allen. How you doing, YouTubers, human beings? Who is now working on uh, another project that we've been uh, discussing, and he has uh, found some items out here that uh, he has put together. And trial run. Trial run. And uh, here's the cool thing. VW bus window. How do you like that, folks? Somehow it was left in the backyard some years ago. Uh, we know how hot our dashboards get, so this is going to be good. And uh, what it, this is, uh, beginnings of, is a solar dehydrator. Now that will get siliconed in and sealed, but I need more black paint. I ran out. Um, I'll give you an idea. When this is in place, the hot air will come out of here, will be attached to the drying box. See the inlet on the other end, screen for no bugs to get in there. And I'm working on the frame of the dryer now, but this will be approximately four foot high with access to the shelving. And that, okay, the end that uh, he has right there attaches to a box, a high right. box. Which is the start of which is here. There we are, give a visual. Um, this will be about two feet wide with drawers, shelves for your drying racks. The hot air will come in at the top, pull down through. The outlet for the air will be on the opposite wall at the bottom, and the air will actually come through the wall cavity. You're going to use the wall cavity as out the, the space. Other That's end. cool. Um, That's we're not a really use great a idea. Pipe on this. Uh, the wall cavity can be used as an airflow channel, so we're going to do that. Everything is glued and screwed. You're going to have moisture coming through that wood all the time. And if you don't glue it, you can't guarantee that it's going to stay together with screws or nails. Also, over time, screws can deteriorate um, a lot quicker than nails, even the treated ones. Don't be fooled. Galvanized screws still rust. So everything will be sealed. You can see the screws that I did put in have been siliconed. So they're not exposed to moisture. You're going to have moisture flowing through this thing all the time. So it's got to be well built or you're going to do it again in five years. This one will be built to last 15, 20 years. Fantastic. So uh, once you get that up, um, we'll do a, uh, a test, I think a little test run. I don't think it's going to be anything major, but uh, just to see what kind of heat is in there. Once we're like done with the solar dryer, we do have plans on making inflatable caves, in case Terrell Croft is right, but <laughs> we're planning on being around for a while, so we're going to do things that are useful. Yes. Uh, anyway. We'll make do for what we got to do. When the electricity goes down, we can't drive. We're going to use the sun. Awesome stuff. Well, I'm going to leave him for a minute, and uh, Maybe we get back to some uh, tests on this thing a little bit later in this video, but maybe not. If not, I'll catch up on the next video. But I'm going to mosey on down the track here. 
because I have something else I want to show I've been working on. Oops, I got some stuff sitting on it. That's okay. I'll move that off of here. Give me just a moment. Clear my space. <clears throat> okay. Still working on it, but uh, this is the basis of it. Of course, you're looking. Oh goodness, what we got here? A hole with a bucket. Um, outhouse it is, outhouse it will be, but this will be a composting outhouse. And you see, I got the bucket in there right now. <coughs> but what, what it uses is after you do your business uh, in the bucket, the bucket will have a hole in the bottom to let any other waste fluids flow out of it, in which I'll have a catch for that. Uh, you then do your uh, wiping business. You then put a little bit of wood ash on top of it and a little bit of cedar chips on top of that to keep down the smell. But uh, in, in adding newspaper on top of that, which will decompose, will keep down the smell, the smell excuse me, uh, even more. So that is the beginnings of it. And all the wood that you see on there is all recovered pallet wood. Another use for the great use of pallets in which we are still uh, going through. Anyway folks, that's it for this one. Reuse, renew, make it work for you. We have, we're finding other ways and we'll continue to find other ways to use the things that we still have around us. See you folks. You have a great day. Love, light, and peace. We'll catch you on the next video.